This video is going to talk about the end of the season use of the Smoter from Harbor Freight, the Predator 708cc motor. Um, the uh, motor was put in in the spring on this uh, Wright Stander 48 inch model and um, so far it's uh, done very well for the season. A uh, couple of things to note if you want to try to do this modification and take out the Kawasaki engine and and put this guy in here uh first thing to note is um we cut this piece off on the corner here because when you put it in it goes underneath the uh, the muffler there i think there was like a little uh, standoff there that used to be in there and it was bumping into the muffler so that that piece we cut off um another thing to note is the uh, muffler here you can see it's it's blowing on the uh the plate the belt plate. Uh, I'm sure that could be uh, changed a little bit to make uh, the fit a little bit better. And then uh, over here on the electrical system, let's see what we got in here. We've got uh, a couple, couple connections. The bottom red ones are for a uh, 12 volt battery. Then we got the engine kill switch, oil pressure switch, and uh, what is it? The carburetor fuel solenoid valve so um, on that connector you can see uh, we've got all the wires connected up and so uh, I got this little connector here that made made it in and uh, made these wires and then uh, from there uh, those wires connect into this bundle right here it's three wires that I brought to the other side of the unit over here. Right now I took out the gas tank so you could see this a little bit better. But uh, um, let's see here. Down here when the, uh, the three wires come in, I took the yellow wire that was already there pre-existing with the spade connector and um, just put a new spade connector on my three wires coming over and put yellow on yellow on that one and then um, I had to cut off this connector here off of I don't know if that's a black or blue but I cut that off and connected that to the brown wire and just just use the remaining uh, connector system going from the old Kawasaki looks like that's uh, going to a maybe a white wire and then this other green wire I just put a a connector on there and put it in for the orange wire um, so that was done in that fashion and then up here um, I had to buy a um, solenoid from um, I think I got that from advanced auto they've got a little section there for uh, lawnmower equipment or small size uh, solenoids and then um, I use the uh, the existing green wire spade there to plug it into the solenoid to activate that and then down here on the other side of the solenoid i put in a little red wire coming from the top here on on the bolt on the solenoid and put it down to the um the positive connection down here let's see down here on the starter and then also on the starter, there's a black ground wire that I just put on the bolt there. And uh, let's see here, anything else? I think that uh, was a majority of the wiring that was required. Um, also to note, when the engine went in, all the dimensions were the same underneath. Uh, the only thing that we did is uh, there was four mounting holes uh, that were not threaded. So we got a tap and we tapped them out to the Kawasaki uh, thread size. And so the, the engine bolted in very nicely um, under, underneath the bottom, you know, all the belts and pulleys and clutch went back on just like it was a Kawasaki. Uh, let's see, I think the, uh, the carburetor cable and choke just hook 
in down here and I think that was pretty much uh, all the same cabling so that's what we did to get this thing running for the season and I think that motor was like a thousand dollars with a we got a two-year warranty on it so first year is uh, almost finished so you might find this uh, video interesting in case you want to consider putting Harbor Freight in over the Kawasaki but you know, Kawasaki's are great engines. They're just a little bit more money.